book review on five books. Oh, my oh. God. Oh. But it's going fast. I'll just say the book title, the author, and if the book is good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> what books am I going to talk about? I don't know. You're, you're going to tell me. This list, these are all the books I've read. Oh. Starting in 1998. Whoa. Going down all the way to Whoa. 2014. Whoa. You read all of them. I've read all oh these books. 700, so, uh, 784. So, here's what we're going to do. Give me a random number from 1 to 784. <laughs> Sorry? Three. Three. Let's go to three. What was the third book I read? The Great Train Robbery by uh, Michael Crichton. Oh. This is about some people who rob a train in England in the 1800s. Is the book good or bad? Yeah, it's good. Read it. <laughs> it's good. Four more books. 77. 77. Uh, you are boosting. How many books you, you read? Just right? as I am. Uh -huh. Billy Graham. He's a preacher in the uh, USA. He talks about what it's like to be a Christian in the USA, and he traveled around the world. Is the book good? If you're a Christian, it's good. Uh -huh. If you're not, well, <laughs> three more numbers. Give me a higher number. 777. 777. 777. Here. My name is Red. 677. 777 would be Red right about. Oh. Mostly harmless. 2015. This is this year. I just read this book, A Douglas Adams. This is part of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the a Galaxy set. It's about some guy who travels around space. He meets aliens and I don't know. <laughs> is, is this book good? No. I was bored. Kind of like it. Two more books. Two more numbers. 528. 528. Right about here. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> when did I read this? 2008. I read this book when I was in the hospital, when I got my face operation. I had a lot of time to kill. What's this book about? Well, if you've seen the movie, you already know. It's about a boy named Harry Potter. He finds that Philosopher's Stone. There's magical wizard dragons. Who wrote this? J.K. Rowling. Is it a good book? Yes, read this book. If you have kids, make them read this book. One more number. One more. 131. 131. Find 131. Jingo, Terry Pratchett. I probably read this 1999, so it's 2000s. What's this book about? I think. It's about, I think, some pirates. <laughs> it's, it's an unintentional a comedy. It's supposed to be funny. Did I think it was funny? <laughs> no. <laughs> Read this book. No, don't, don't. <laughs> Actually, I'll do one more. Give me one more number. One more number. 211. 211. Oops, that's it. Halo. Whoa. This is based off the Xbox game. The same name. That's right. X Halo, this is a first person shooter. It's really popular. It helps make Microsoft a lot of money. This highlights the main character in the book. His name is John. In the game, he doesn't have any. He's just known as a Master Chief. It illustrates the training he had to go through, and he's been sent from planet to planet. Is this book good? If you're a teenage boy, it's excellent. If you're a girl or you're above 19, no. <laughs> Fellow Toastmasters, these are all the books I read. Whenever ah. I read a book, I write it down. Oh. One more question. Okay. Yes. What, what is your favorite book uh, my, among uh, books you've read? I'll show you. My favorite book would be Raptor, Gary Jennings. I read this in 2007. I talked about this book last year. It's about a hermaphrodite. That means he's a boy and a girl. He exists in the Dark Ages. He's able to infiltrate kingdoms 
because he can become a boy and a girl. And what's really bizarre is that apparently this is a real story. Yeah. What? And some of the things he does, this can't be true. But right before this character died, he wrote it down and he gave it to a king as a, as a gift. And then when the king read it, read it, what? You were a girl this whole time? What, what is going on? Gary Jennings, this is one of my new favorite authors. But be advised. This book, this, some movies are rated R. This movie is rated beyond R. <coughs> this can never be made into a film. No. Some of the scenes, no. no. If you have kids, don't let them read this book. They'll become like me. <laughs> and then they'll write down every book. And what does the formula letter mean? Sorry? The formula letter. Ah, bold. Bold means these books I like. Oh. Uh, yeah, stars. <laughs> and these books, yes, that's good, that's good, that's good. And there's also a pattern. This author here, he's usually black. Barry Turtle. Barry Turtle, he's one of my favorite authors. Carl Sagan, he's good. Richard Dawkins, he's good. This guy here, Philip Pullman, you notice there's no dark? He's not that good. Someone asked me, have you read this book? Yeah, some books I read three times. Because it's, look, black, black, black. It keeps being good. People ask me, have you read this book? <laughs> I did read it a long time ago. And then I can tell you what happened in the book. And I can also tell you what I was doing at this time. The book I'm reading right now, here, The Bear and the Dragon. What? Is it? Is it good? It's not highlighted. I haven't finished it yet. Maybe it will be good. Oh, Postmasters, thank you. That, that's my